Hi, I'm going to show you how I do my anti-wrinkle, anti-sagging, cleansing facial massage. Uh, I do this to keep my skin really fresh and healthy and I do it at night mostly and that's because I've got two kids so there's no way I have any spare time in the mornings. But if you want to do it in the mornings and walk out of your house with plump glowing skin, perfect. Um, I use a facial oil to uh, take away my makeup. Um, I, I find it really lifts the makeup off and then I, after that I use it a second time, always, even though I, if I don't do the massage I always use a second cleanse just to really, really cleanse the skin and to get any impurities out and clean the pores out. So uh, this time I obviously don't have any makeup as you can see, so I'm just going to go straight on the massage. So about three squirts of that, warm it up in your hands and then just Place it all over your skin and your neck. And then really warm your hands up, get the energy going. And then start on your chin, moving up towards the nose, the eyebrows, the forehead. Press a little bit at the temple and move back. And do this three times. And by the third time, you squeeze your earlobes a little bit. Squeeze your earlobes. And you can do this for as long as you want. This is really sort of a general warming up facial. You get the blood flowing. And the ear notes. <laughs> Up towards the nose, the forehead, press a little bit at the temple and go back. And squeeze the ear lips. Doesn't matter if you don't do it every third time, but and then the neck. In an upward motion all the way. And then I normally go a little bit at the back as well, the back of the neck all the way up. Now I only do this if I know I'm going to wash my hair in the morning because otherwise my hair gets way too greasy. Just in the back of it and up. No. Okay. And then on the, the whole cheeks just lift it all up. And this again you can do for as long as you want. I mean, I'm not going to bore you with sitting here all day, but it is quite a good one to do. This one. Sometimes I just go back to this. Just keep the whole thing moving. Now what I do is I sort of flick my fingers around a bit. Yeah, and this on me is just so solid. I really need this. Good God. Trapped tension, I would say. There we go. Mm -hmm. And then the nose. Just circular movements up towards the inner. Press, press a little bit here and then go out to the eyebrows. And press a little bit on the eyebrows, nose. This is also so good for if you've got blackheads. Really gets the whole thing moving, the circulation, everything. It's a bit of 
drainage there. Now what I do is my forehead. I do this quite a lot because one of my kids asked, Mommy, why do you have a train track on your forehead? And since then I'm doing this almost every night, just upwards, sort of lift your hair brow and down and lift and down and then I go down again here on the neck and lift one again. Just to keep it flowing. And then the eyes. You need to drain the eyes slightly from all the extra fluid. So just, I don't like to, to sort of rub or anything. I just like to pat, well, fairly firm all around on, on your bones, as it were. Just press just to drain away all that extra fluid that's been collecting. And you can go the other way. And another thing I do, which I find very beneficial, <laughs> my skin, my wrinkles, is, you know, the one here, what I do is I take my index fingers, rub them together a lot, so some sort of energy starts there, and then you just press them towards your middle of the forehead and just pr press it outwards, squeeze a little bit at the temple, and then again, so that the energy will transfer from your finger and into your wrinkles. And then another one I do this is my favourite one. You know this area here, those uh, nose to mouth lovely things that you got there. To try to keep them at bay, I, what I do is you take your index finger and then you rub super quickly. Here. I know it looks rubbish. But I try to do this when I don't have an audience. Um, really, really fast. And the whole area will just start to sort of work, to sort of blossom, sort of just the tingles and you can feel you really feel the tingling starting working against gravity I do this a lot you know the small little wrinkles by your uh, on your upper lip as well this is perfect for this just gets the whole thing moving Plumping up that whole area. I know it, it looks absolutely rubbish. I hope it works. So yeah, so that's basically the facial I do most nights. Now I'm going to wash it off. I wash with water and then I just pat my skin dry. And after that, I use a facial mist. This one is by Julique. It's rose water. Oh gosh, it's so nice. I love this. Love anything rose, but this one is particularly nice. And now your skin is completely prepped for its nutrients. And use whatever you want. I'm going to um, use an anti-wrinkle cream that I made a couple of weeks ago. It contains shea butter avocado oil and honey and some other stuff so I'm just warming it up in my hands and then just using sort of comma movements all around your skin 
it's been shown that if you use these sort of movements, applying your cream, your oil, it goes really right into the skin very effectively. So. And around the eyes, I just put it on the bone and the cream will work itself in towards the eye wrinkles because otherwise I find it, it gets a little bit too heavy. And I use um, lip balm as well because I like to use lipstick and at night I normally want to have something a bit more nourishing for my lips. This one is by Living Nature. It's really, really good. All their products are amazing, good enough to eat, so I highly recommend them. Uh, yeah, so that is my routine before going to bed. My little facial massage for uh, keeping wrinkles and sagging at bay. And I will promise you that if you do this every day or a couple of times a week, you will see results. Um, so yeah, that was it and I will see you next time. Bye!